Markers allow you to quickly navigate around the timeline and are a really important tool. So let's take a look at a few of the shortcuts that you can use when you're working with both comp markers and layer markers. Now I've just got a simple piece of footage here. I have nothing selected and that's important if you want to set comp markers. So I'm just going to move down the timeline a bit and I'm going to press the asterisk key on the keypad and that will set a marker. Now if I hold down the Alt key or Option on Mac and press the asterisk key on the keypad, that's going to open up the Composition Marker dialog and here I can type in a comment. Now of course if I hadn't done that, I could double click the marker and open up the Composition Marker dialog that way. But it's much faster just to Alt or Option, asterisk. If I want to delete the marker, just holding down the Control or Command key until I get the scissor icon and click. Now another way to set composition markers is to use the keyboard. Pressing Shift-0 on the keyboard will set a marker number 0. If I just move down a little bit, Shift-1 will set 1, Shift-2 and so on all the way up to 9. And to navigate back to those numbers, all I have to do is press that number on the keyboard, not using the Shift key this time. So 2 takes me to 2, 1 to 1, 0 to 0, and 9 to 9. So that's a really nice way to set markers quickly and to navigate between them. Now, if I double click that marker again, open up the Composition Marker dialog, you also have the option to change the color of markers. Pretty straightforward, just choose the color you want and you can colorize that marker. Now, one relatively new and useful feature of markers is the ability to split them. If I come over here to number 9 and hold down the Alt or Option on Mac, you can see I get a right pointing arrow, and I click and drag, I can change the duration of that. And if you look up to the right of the screen in the Info panel, you can see that as I'm dragging that, it's changing the duration. And once you've set it, if you want to check that duration, just double click, and you can see the duration up here. And I can change that there as well. To move the marker, I just click and drag on the left side. And to change the duration of the marker, I just click and drag the right side. Okay, now let's talk about pre-composing with these markers. If I select this, pre-compose and choose leave all attributes, open up the pre-comp, you can see I don't see any markers. So I'm going to undo that. Let's try that again. And this time I'm going to move all of the attributes. Click OK, double click, and you can see now by choosing the Move All Attributes, it's actually copied those markers into the pre-comp as well. I'm going to undo that once more. And there is one more way to copy markers into a pre-comp, and that's by manually nesting this composition into another composition. So I'm going to right click and choose Reveal Composition in Project, drag it down to the New Comp icon, and watch what happens this time. Doing that has made the comp markers from the parent comp layer markers in the pre-comp. If I just nest this up above so we can see both timelines. So here's the parent comp here. If I'm working in the parent comp and I move one of these markers, the pre-comp one doesn't change, but I can right click on the pre-comp marker and I can choose update markers from source. Notice though that this replaces all markers. So if you've set new markers inside this pre-comp, they're going to be replaced with all of the markers that exist inside the parent comp. Okay, so we can also set markers for layers, as you've just seen. The difference is in setting a layer marker, you need to select a layer, because if you don't, you're going to set a comp marker. So if I just move my time indicator and press the asterisk key on the keypad, I'll do the same thing. Once again, holding down Alt or Option on Mac allows me to open up the layer marker dialog box. And here I can set a comment and of course change the label color. So exactly the same for layer markers as when you're working with comp markers. Of course I can hold down the Alt key or Option on Mac and split that. Just undo that. I'm going to set another marker. Now if I want to see the duration between two markers it's fairly straightforward. I have to Alt or Option click on the first marker and then move to the second marker and Alt or Option click. And take a look in the top right hand corner in the Info panel when I Alt click this one. You can see it gives me the duration between keyframes, which is really useful. Just move that along, Alt click, 
alt click there's my duration and I can also navigate between layer markers using the J and K keys on the keyboard so K moves me forward and J moves me backwards but keep in mind you can't do that with comp markers so there's a few really useful shortcuts to speed up your workflow with markers and if you're not using markers now then I suggest you really do because they certainly can save you some time